CataractCoach.com. Cortex removal without the IA probe. This can simplify cataract surgery, but does it also have more risk? Let's watch carefully here. Our surgeon's just about getting the capsorexis finished. Looks like a pretty routine case. Moderate nuclear density. Beautiful looking capsorexis. Incisions look good too. Let's see the technique here. Do some hydrodissection. Releasing some viscoelastic first to make some room. That's reasonable. Using this flat cannula. There's a fluid wave. And let's see. Okay. Good fluid wave there. And if you're going to do just the phaco probe and no IA probe, you're probably going to want to do some more rotation of that nucleus to free up the cortex. And so going in here with the IA probe, and here comes a chopper in the second hand. And let's see what we got going on here. There's the rotation. There you go. So we've seen this before with some other Brazilian surgeons like my friend Dr. Rossatelli. This really loosens up and separates out the cortex from the capsular bag. And so now here, going inside, there we go. Split the nucleus in half, two halves just like that. Rotate it again. Probably more chops going in. So very experienced surgeon here. And chopper going around the lens equator. And then here you go, a couple of quadrants. And again, not the densest nucleus. So a case like this often has a little more cortex to remove. You sometimes see patients who have a very dense, dense nucleus or a white cataract where all the cortex is liquefied, or the dense cataract where there's almost no cortex left. In a case like this, of moderate nuclear density, there can still be quite a bit of cortex. So surgeon's taking out the quadrants now, a little vacuum to draw the pieces up. That looks very good. And these pieces are going to come down nice and easy. And there we go, cleaning that up. Rotate it around. And you can already see as the lens's nucleus is being rotated, there really is not much cortex left in the capsule bank here. Now, by eliminating the, the, nest, the use of an IA probe for cortex removal, you can certainly make the surgery a lot more efficient. If you couple that with something, something like a hydro implantation of the lens, even more so. So here the surgeon's taking out the last bits here. There's the last quadrant. And look at the caps are back. It's pretty darn clean. Very little material left. Last piece comes down. And let's see what we're going to do here. Clean up a few of these strands here with the faker probe, perhaps. Let's see. There's one little nuclear chip sub-incision. I'll bring that forwards. Good two-handed technique here. Now, what are you going to do on that stuff on the capsule here? You can use the phaco probe. Ooh, 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 be careful. Now, obviously, this is a very experienced surgeon. If you're a beginning surgeon, please do not attempt this. The metal tip of the phaco probe is far more likely to penetrate and inadvertently rupture the posterior capsule compared to a soft silicon or polymer tip from an IA probe. And so be cautious here if you do this technique. But surgeon did a beautiful job. Here comes viscoelastic, so no hydroimplantation. Looks like filling the bag with HPMC, hydroxypropyl methylcellulose. And that's sold as Ocucote here in the USA most of the time. And now get the lens in the eye. So interesting case here. The rest of the case is pretty much the normal stuff. Let's see what lens option we've got. So it looks like a single piece of acrylic lens with a little bit of yellow tint. Deliver that lens, and let's see, as it goes in the bag, what do we have here? It is, yep, yeah, unfolding nicely. Ah, oh, there's some rings on this lens, so maybe it's a multifocal or trifocal design. In a case like that, you got to be extra cautious. Now, using the, uh, the phaco probe to position the lens, and now the phaco probe to remove the viscoelastic. Now, let's see, you're going to lift, I'd probably lift the optic with the chopper. Hey, by the way, while we're waiting right here, Check out cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. You know, yeah, yeah, so much great material. If you're a young resident learning surgery and you haven't yet gotten the free PDF book, go get it. You see that right there? Look at that phaco sleeve came off, so the surgeon put it back on. Incredible dexterity. Very talented surgeon, obviously. So now removing the viscoelastic. Very nicely done. Are we going to... I use the chopper and just kind of lift up one edge of the optic in order to remove viscoelastic behind it. Because remember, with this uh, trifocal lens, you need to get those concentric rings lined up beautifully with the pupil and the visual axis. And so in a case like this, I don't want to leave viscoelastic behind the optic. So very nicely done taking that uh, viscoelastic out. Now, it's not a perfectly clean capsule bag. There's still a little bit of wispy stuff there. That should melt off in the cascade of uh, inflammation. But... I don't know, is it easier to remove the eye probe? I'm just trying to think, is this reasonable? I've seen other surgeons who've done just a, a nice, beautiful cataract surgery without using an eye probe as well, and it certainly can make it more efficient. But I'm still a little torn. I'm not sure. For my patients now, I'm still using an eye probe for every case. 
I don't mind spending a little bit of extra time there. I just think in my hands, it may be a little bit safer. What do you think? Please leave me a comment below. We're here to learn together from each other. Leave me a comment. What, would, what do you think of this uh, technique? Have you tried it? Can you do a surgery the same way? Or do you prefer, like me, using an IA probe? Either can work just fine, as we've seen in this video. Anyway, I look forward to reading your comments. And remember, check out our weekly podcast. Every week, a brand new podcast. I promise you will learn so much. You will thank me later.